back to Houston Life. We continue to celebrate Brad Week here at Houston Life, and today we are introducing you to a varsity basketball player and a Leaf ISD senior who is sporting a familiar last name in his district. Yeah, he is the third sibling in his family to become valedictorian at Elsick High School, earning him a spot at an Ivy League. Before he heads out to Yale, Let's meet Yassine Mabizari. Yassine, welcome to Houston Life. Thank you. Thank this you. is yeah. pretty cool. Yes, round of applause for sure. This is so well deserved. Um, before we get into what's going to happen at this Ivy League after college, very exciting. Yeah. Congratulations on Yale. Was there pressure growing up and knowing that you had two other siblings who were named valedictorian? Did you feel that pressure that you had to get the same title? Um, so there is some pressure growing up, but uh, my mother just continued to push me, just to see be the best that you can. And uh, following with my uh, siblings' footsteps, I obviously wanted to make it up to their level, but not uh, necessarily pressure going to a big school, but just to do the best for myself. This is your beautiful family, Aww. right? We're seeing on screen. Yes. And how does it feel, though, now that you can look up to the other two and go, I got you? Um, it feels amazing. <laughs> uh, just looking just looking back at it, when I was a kid, I used to think, wow, you know, my sister's going to Yale, my brother's going to Harvard. I, I wish I can do great things like that. And it's, uh, it's definitely amazing to having uh, experienced that now, for sure. Well, I want to mention that you make such a great point. When you have siblings that do so well, it motivates and inspires you to want to do the same, to want to achieve those great things in school, right? Absolutely. Uh, it's been a really big motivation, and they've been on my side like every step of the way, helping me through it for sure. People must ask you, uh, and I'm sorry that I'm going to ask you, is, is there like a special diet you eat at home? <laughs> is there something in the water? How does this happen? Because it is rare to have three members of the same family named valedictorian. Yeah, so my family is really big. I have a lot of siblings, so something that we just tried to do is just keep giving advice to each other, um, help each other out uh, where we could. And how it just ended up working out is after years of advice and lessons learned through my oldest sister to my uh, oldest brother, they just passed down advice to us and it just helps us out. Now we have to point out the also other obvious note is you are very successful in basketball and sports achievement because you're quite tall. <laughs> are you going to be playing sports while you're at Yale as well? Um, I may play club or instrumentals. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Um, basketball is definitely one of my big hobbies, so I'm happy to, you know, continue playing. Yasin, you have a 4.75 GPA, wow. uh, not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, one of your motivators was a previous educator of yours from middle school, I believe, who essentially told you you would not amount to anything. Right. Um, so I did have one teacher, I won't say his name, but uh, he kind of always picked on me. And then uh, one day he had the audacity to kind of tell me, like, you're seen, you know, I don't really feel like you're going to be valedictorian. And even if you do go to that extent, just because of school you're graduating and stuff like that. So he was just... Uh, Definitely try to downplay my success a lot before it even happened. Wow, sometimes the naysayers, though, can be the best motivation, Absolutely. right? Like, watch me. I hope that teacher is yeah. watching right now, by the way. Well, yeah, exactly. And we mentioned that, you know, graduation is not even until next Friday. So you still got two weeks left in school. Is the senior Ida's kind of catching up with you right now? Um, so I've done my best to keep up with my studies and uh, do everything like that. In school, though, I have been doing a lot of stuff, like uh, finals week. I just came from taking a final today, um, AP statistics. Um, but I've been writing a lot of speeches and trying to get things prepared for graduation, just finally uh, finalizing things up. How did the final go? I got a 92. I was surprised. Oh. <laughs> I got All right. Guys, I got to go. I got to be on TV now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, AP statistics final. Um, I walk in. It was a 45-minute exam, 20 questions. Um, and yeah, I got a 92. I was really happy with that. Awesome. That is fantastic. Yeah. And I know your family is really proud. I was reading that uh, your dad traveled a lot to Louisiana uh, for his work as an engineer. Is that correct? And your mom is a stay-at-home mom. Absolutely. And what's their response to this title? And the fact that you're going off to Yale soon. Yeah, uh, they've been very supportive. Uh, they've been happy. My mom, you know, she was with me every step of the way. And then just seeing my dad's perseverance working in Louisiana and then being able to come back to Houston every weekend. Um, I had r r two really strong strong figures to grow up to for sure. It's wonderful. It is great. So well, great. Yassine yeah. Mabazari, congratulations. Thank well deserved. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Off to college. Best of luck <laughs> Thank you. at Yale. You will be great. Absolutely. All right.